Okay, tonight is going to be a lot of recipes made with meatballs because about two weeks ago I bought two pounds of hamburger at the, the store. The first thing I'm going to make is um, some uh, pizzas. And this is just plain uh, spaghetti sauce. I got it at uh, Walmart. And I'm going to save the rest to make spaghetti next week or whenever I get around to eating. I'll just freeze it. So I, I have some hamburger. Uh, I made some meatballs and I cut them in pieces. And now I'm going to put just, I got some pizza cheese for about $1.50 at Food for Less. And I'm going to put some pizza cheese. And this is it. This would be good with, uh, you know, some spaghetti. Good. That's that for that. Just gonna put that in the oven. These go pretty fast. Okay, the next thing is gonna be some hamburger stew. I'm gonna use some of my meatballs. I had about four cups of meatballs. I'm going to have, um, I have an onion that I grated. I have one potato. I'm making a small batch because, you know, I'm making a lot of stuff. I uh, took the carrots out of some frozen uh, vegetables I bought and I put a quarter, I have garlic, uh, granulated garlic, a quarter um, teaspoon and then uh, one can, there's already water in here, so I don't need more water. One can of consomme. And, I don't know, about a cup of meatballs. And then you just cook that. And that makes a pretty good soup. You can serve that over rice. It says cover. It says cover and cook for one half hour, but since I'm making a whole bunch of stuff, I'm just going to finish it in the oven, keeping my eye on the pizza, too. Okay, number two. That was number two. Now number three is going to be beef stroganoff. Okay, I'm going to brown some onion. A little, I need my oil. Did I take it out? A little bit of oil and then I'm just going to use the rest of uh, the rest of the onion. I'm going to brown that and then I uh, took out some uh, mushrooms out of some vegetables and I'm going to add, I'm going to brown that. There wasn't very many uh, mush mushrooms, but it doesn't matter because I'm making a small, small batch. And then two meatballs. On the meatballs, I, I made these in the oven about 20 minutes. Just brown those for a couple minutes. And now I'm going to start the um, sweet, and no, I'm going to do the Oriano. The Oriental meatballs next. Where are they? Okay, for the marinade sauce. Um, it's right here. One half cup soy sauce, three quarters cup water, one quarter teaspoon. I use granulated garlic. About a quarter teaspoon. Well, about half that because it's a little batch. A tablespoon of sugar. I don't want to, I have to pour it. Got a tablespoon of sugar. And a half a teaspoon of ginger. I got this at the 99 cent store. I'm not really picky about ginger. That's it. And then, uh, I don't know, half a pound of hamburger. And 
And then uh, there's this some um, Chinese vegetables. I bought these for food for less. And I'm just going to mix that together. You can make a bigger batch. But, you know, I'm making a lot of stuff. And then I'm just going to finish cooking that in the oven. And now we're back here, and, and these are starting to brown up. Back to the beef stroganoff. Okay, so... I have the hamburger, the onion. I didn't have any celery or parsley. Brown in and onions. I uh, took some uh, mushrooms out of the Chinese vegetables, and I'm having one can of condensed condensed soup. And this would be good over rice. Not looking too impressive yet, but it's pretty good. These are really old recipes. These recipes are about 50 years old, some of these recipes. That's why they're so cheap. Okay, the next thing is going to be the sweet and sour, sweet and sour meatballs. Okay, I have one cup, one cup of um, pineapple juice, and I just poured that out of the pineapple slices and uh, one tablespoon oil and I'm going to add one tablespoon of soy sauce and uh, a quarter, this is a half batch, a quarter cup of sugar and three tablespoons of vinegar. This is really four tablespoons if you fill it all the way to the top so I'm just going to eyeball it. Three tablespoons of vinegar. Stir that together. Add the meatballs. Add the meatballs. Oops. So you see, I'm making a lot of meatball stuff here. A lot. Okay, back to the beef stroganoff. This is looking pretty good. I'm just going to leave this one on top of the stove. Okay, and now um, to thicken this, I'm going to, this is one and a half teaspoons, it's it's a half a batch. One and a half teaspoons of cor tablespoons cornstarch and three, and that's going to thicken this. And then I'm going to add uh, pineapple. This is only a half a can because this is a, a big, a little batch. And I'm going to add, it's supposed to be a green pepper, but I picked this out of the Chinese vegetables. It's not very much, but I'm not big on just to flavor it up a little bit. And I got a little bit of onion left, so I'll put that in there too. And I'm just going to cook that for about, I don't know, until it thickens up. You see the beef stroganoff is cooking up pretty good here. Okay, and we're going to come back in a few minutes.